John here from Embroidery Legacy and in this font magic video I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to create a Trapunto terry cloth effect using just one ESA font and some of the incredible tools within your Hatch software. So let's get started. Now for this little bonus design, I wanted to do kind of a Trapunto embossed look on terry cloth. So I chose a font that I thought would be friendly. I thought that this sort of smoky looking font would have the terry cloth pop through. And I'm just going to bring it up. I brought it up at 50 millimeters, which is fine. And I'm going to just go to my create layouts after it's selected. So I have the entire object selected and I'm going to go to my uh, ambience quilting. Now this is generally for doing quilt squares, but we can use this tool for some other cool things as well. So I'm going to uh, go off of the proportionate size, so I don't want it to be the exact same height and width. So I click that off and I'm going to do this at 125 millimeters wide because this is a little wider than it is high and 100 millimeters high. And then I'm going to do an echo stitch and I chose a one millimeter space between each of the stitches and that way it's going to hold down the terry cloth and cause whatever's on the inside to look embossed. My idea is that I'll run this sort of echo effect in the same color as the terry cloth so it almost disappears when it's sewing out but still has a little bit of a effect because of the echo that it's going to do. So when I click this now, I can see that it has a really cool effect in there. I'm just going to zoom in so I can get this full. And now I can see all of these little pieces and I'm going to get rid of a bunch of them. So I'm just going to grab this and select the entire thing and I'm going to tell to ungroup it. And now that it is ungrouped, I can grab individual pieces and I'll start just by clicking off the object and let's grab from that piece and I'm going to hold the shift key down to let's say this piece right here and let's delete those. So I've gotten rid of quite a few of them. I'm going to grab one more and actually I'll leave that one there. Let's grab this one here and I'm going to do a satin stitch. So I'm going to tell this to be a satin stitch and now I can see that I have a satin stitch around the outside. That looks great. I, the 2.5 millimeters looks good. I'm going to change this to a different color and I'm going to make that color maybe the same color as that red around the outside and then I'm going to take that object there and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to duplicate that one and I'm going to make this a blanket stitch and then the blanket stitch I'm going to make a yellow so that it matches around the outside. So that was incredibly easy, incredibly fast. I was able to use the feature which is meant for quilting to create a really cool kind of bordered effect that I could use on terry cloth or pretty much anything else, serpa fleece where I have that poking through the empty spaces, matting it down, created a bit of texture with the echo effect and a little bit of extra kind of, uh, you know, I guess creativity using a satin with a blanket stitch going around the outside. Mm -hmm. 